One point, the storms knocked out power to more than 3,000 homes, and the downpours were relentless. Here's a taste of the tropical nature of the rain in Oxford. You can see this driver here slowly maneuvering through that flooded street. Ken McLeod is in Worcester tonight with a look at the cleanup. Just a mucky mess remains here on Pelham Street in Worcester, and the bad memory of this afternoon's torrential downpours when the water right here was almost waist deep. In Hadley, the lightning was enough to scare anyone, but a bolt actually hit this Sterling home, triggering a raging fire in the garage, but hurting no one. A lightning strike also caused smoky flames on the top floor of this Somerville house. Right before we were coming back from another call, and we saw, you know, the whole area light up with a pretty loud lightning, uh, pretty bright lightning strike. Strong winds and soggy ground combined to drop trees in several spots, including Wilmington. But it was the torrential, slow-moving downpours that plagued most towns. In Oxford, motorists sloshed through the waves on Sutton Street. Oh, my God, look at this thing. But as manholes turned into geysers in Worcester, the water got too deep too fast for several drivers, and some abandoned their cars, like this guy we found waiting for a tow truck after the flash flood receded. Okay, yeah, I was thinking I could get through. Like, it's not that deep, the water, but... It is what it is. This is where his wheels met their fate, Pelham Street in Worcester, and he had some company. One half-submerged car still had its headlights on and wipers going. When is the city going to do something? Indeed, firefighters made the rounds for possible rescues when the water rose, but as night closed in, residents here were pretty much on their own for the cleanup. It's terrible. The good news is that nicer weather is on tap for the next few days, but these folks might still be pumping out their basements. In Worcester, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.